Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi, priestess. Somebody very intuitive, very gifted. Ace of Pentacles. Something is good here. Um, it's important that you go on your spiritual journey, stay on your spiritual journey, because what I'm picking up here is all of your blessings and all of your abundance and your stability, your security, your emotional safety and everything is going to be found on your actual soul's journey, your soul path. Um, there's a need for you to maybe move on from something or the idea that something, you know, didn't work or move away from fear. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It's a windfall of abundance coming in, but it's like you, this is about your birthright, I feel. Like you have to tap into something and really, really know or understand something if you want to tap fully into your own birthright, whatever this is, okay, for you. All right, so a bunch of cards just fell out. You see that crazy, right? Transformation is here. The Two of Wands, Balance card, Lovers, and the Eight of Swords. Six of Pentacles. It's like I feel the universe wants to be very generous with you right now. All right. But again, the high priestess, there's a spiritual transformation here. The high priestess is here with the transformation card. There is a death, a rebirth, a transformation um, that's happening right now. And it's going to force you to make a big decision. This decision is going to balance things out. You may be very confused right now, like I said, about your path. Some of you are confused about a partner. You're just lacking some type of confidence you're looking for certainty in something i don't really think that on the path you're going on that you're going to have the the certainty there's nothing here that's guaranteed um or or you're you're stuck looking for guarantees there it's like you're at a point now where you have to take a risk Somebody just had, if, if you want the rewards and recognition, the, you have to take a risk. You're going to have to be bold, ambitious, be willing to balance your emotions out for with your actions and emotions. Transformation, and this is like um, temperance, Scorpio, Sagittarius season. And then here's the lovers, okay? There's a Gemini full moon coming up soon. So some of you right now, there's a, a message here. There is some type of communication that has you stuck in your head or, or something or someone is trying to get you stuck in your head. You're really going to have to go inward at this time. The Knight of Wands. This is about you having a lot of confidence. Yeah, Six of Wands. This is about you having confidence, like really having the passion to go after some kind of opportunity maybe you want to start a business or you want to apply for a job or maybe you want to make it an offer to someone or maybe somebody wants to, yeah the king of cups is here somebody may be afraid or lacking strength and confidence about making an offer or some type of proposal this could be a business proposal love offer whatever it is Th these cars just keep flying out look at all these cars that fell out and there was a car that's the car that was turned upside down is actually the ten of swords so somebody here because of some kind of past like deception or betrayal something that has brought someone a lot of grief and sadness i feel like somebody is afraid to take the next step but you have wow the seven of swords <laughs> the empress the four of wands and the hierophant here's a page of cups or two of cups and they're on the ace of wands and when i said that i saw five 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 on the clock this is about a very serious offer and someone is coming out of chaos conflict and confusion there's no more illusions here about a situation or whatever like energy of confusion or illusions that may still be lingering 
it's being cleared up once and for all and you're going to finally have like the strength the courage and the confidence to go towards a particular person group place thing or situation whatever this is um the four of wands and the hierophant here this is you celebrating some type of victory possibly in a community i don't know if this is a government contract this could be a marriage whatever it is there's a celebration here though and then you have the empress with the two of cups so for some of you it's definitely a very um serious high level of commitment that's being offered to you now the two of cups can be any kind of partnership you could be celebrating um again a new job you could be going back to school I'm, I'm getting marriage though like a serious commitment or or business proposal so this two of wands is here with the balance card somebody is making the decision to start um blending their ideals with yours somebody knows that in order to have wish fulfillment there has to be some type of compromise someone is going to have to welcome diversity someone is realizing that they're going to have to have a bit of i feel like somebody is too control i was going to say somebody needs to have more patience and self-control it feels to me that this energy like somebody is almost too controlled too rigid Somebody here is very wise. If you're dealing with somebody, they could be older than you or you could be older. Somebody here is very spiritually wise and mature. Um, but but I feel that it's the kind of energy with the high priestess. You have the high priestess and the hierophant out here. This is two very no-nonsense type of energies. So what I'm getting from looking at this energy, though, is there's a lack of ambition, motivation, or effort in something. It's because if this is a connection, it's very much spiritually based. Um, and it's, tr it's making it its way into your physical 3D reality, but there there's a spark something needs to be um it's like a light needs to be a a match has to be struck like there, there's a light there's a there's some kind of fire or something here that's missing here's the ace of wands but you see the seven of swords here somebody is afraid um to to offer something or to say something the seven of swords is here for somebody is in their head they're afraid that a secret or something from the past is going to come up or the seven of swords also can just be again someone being overly cautious about a situation hmm. Ego, the devil, seven of swords, the devil, it's in the eight of swords. This is some kind of self-limiting belief. Somebody is just worried about so much. Again, there's no rewards or recognition because somebody is too afraid of taking a risk. So this, this type of fear tells me with the ten of swords, something happened in the past. Somebody could have been embarrassed. With the, the Ten of Swords is here on top of the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. So I feel like at a time when a person was being very bold, ambitious, maybe even in the public eye, had a platform or something like that, something happened. And there was some type of sadness, some type of grief or betrayal. And now somebody is almost like paralyzed by fear. They are overthinking the situation so much. Somebody also has anxiety 
about being in some type of group or community. It, it feels like a person is just afraid almost to re-enter the world. This is somebody who has been out. Um, they've received rewards and recognition. They've been out in the world, but it's something different now about the world that you or this person is in now or how you're being seen or perceived or somebody is coming out. They're sharing something about themselves. Um, they're doing something different. They don't really know how like, somebody is afraid they're not going to be well received or welcomed. Somebody, because this car has two men on, somebody could be coming out of the closet, um, sharing something about their, their sexuality. Um, somebody could want to pursue a job or even a romantic relationship. And what this is a fear of rejection. Eight of wands. But it's, it's okay. Whatever this is, it's safe. Eight of Wands. But the Eight of Wands also can speak of a very fast moving energy. Somebody feels like something is happening too fast. And here's the Awakening card. So somebody could have kind of been forced into like a spiritual awakening or transformation. Things are happening so fast that it's like, yeah, the moon. Some Somebody's feelings, their emotions and everything are coming out at such a rapid rate. And it's funny because the reading that I did earlier, I was talking about the battle between like a, a karmic soulmate, I would say, and like a possibly a, a twin flame. There's a divine feminine energy that I was picking up on. This person is healing and evolving at such a rapid rate that their energy is literally rejecting everybody because it's sort of like this person is being so obedient to the, the way that God is guiding their steps that it's like if you come to this person in any kind of low vibrational energy you're automatically rejected but it's like well it makes sense for them to reject the karmic soulmate that's toxic or whatever but this person is even their energy is rejecting even like the twin flame energy that's coming towards them because a twin flame it's the same energy that, that that person is still stuck or stagnant or they're hesitant. They're lacking ambition or motivation. They're lacking or slacking in some type of area that doesn't allow them to be fully um, like a vibrational match for this divine feminine. It could be a divine mask. I feel like I'm picking up a divi that same divine masculine energy that I was picking up earlier. Somebody here who is dealing with restrictions. And this person is going through like a dark night of the soul where they are waking up. They're realizing the truth about their family, about their religious um, beliefs or practices, their spirituality. They're also coming to realize that they really want to have a serious partnership with a divine feminine. This person has a lot going on. That's why the eight of wands is here. They have a lot going on. There's all these new beginnings. This person doesn't know what to do. And now they're being presented with so many options. They're afraid. It's analysis paralysis. This person is stuck. They're trying to analyze every situation because Life is happening all at once. It's like the romantic offer of a lifetime, the business offer of a lifetime, a spiritual transformation. This person could be developing spiritual gifts. Everything is happening at once. It's that deer in headlights energy. This person is like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And whoever this is, I feel like they're trying to play real, real cool about it. Nine of swords, but they're not. This person is so stressed out. They have so much anxiety about this forward movement. The wheel, I'm sorry, the cherry and the six of swords is here. And if you notice here, this man is on this boat like usual um, with a woman and a child. This person is stressed out because they know that the time has come, the wheel here, for them to stand up and to really step fully into their purpose. And this person's purpose is most likely for them to create some kind of family, business, or like a legacy with someone, which means that someone here has to give up all of their immaturity. Somebody has to take some very, very bold steps in life right now. 
in order to move forward. It's it's like God is saying, you have to do this now. Like literally somebody, they don't have the option anymore to be trapped. The time is here now. Like somebody has been waiting patiently. That's why I said before, I'm like, well, the balance card is here, which is like temperance. Somebody has too much self-control and moderation. They're being forced. The wheel of fortune that they've been waiting on or that you've been waiting it's now. Divine timing for somebody, it's, it's right now. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles came out. And then the Fool card, the Dreamer. This dreamer is this masculine energy that's new on their path. Fairly new. This person is struggling with trusting themselves because they now are in the presence of this queen of pentacles who is at, who they actually see themselves making their empress. But the queen of pentacles is someone who is practical. The queen of pentacles is someone who is business savvy. They are down to earth. They're grounded. The queen of pentacles knows how to make a house a home. This person, the queen of pentacles, they don't move quickly. This, so the queen of pentacles, if you think about the kind of person who they already, they're, they're generous, they're practical, they're grounded, they're stable, they're secure. And then at the same time, they're very cool, calm, and collected. That can be a very intimidating energy for somebody who is still like kind of dreaming. They're new on their path. Because it's sort of like when you try to give a person a gift that already has everything. It's like, so what do I offer that person? What do I buy them? They already have everything. That's how someone is being viewed now. This person already has a bunch of security and stability or... There's a lot of people around them that love them. What this person is asking, what can I offer or what can I do? But there is love here. The King of Cups. I don't know why these cards keep falling out like this. You have the moon here, the four of swords and the page of swords. Somebody just needs to rest, retreat, meditate, pray, maybe take a short trip, social media break, go to sleep on time. There's a lot of downloads that's happening when someone is asleep. I feel like it's something here about doing things early, early in the morning. Maybe somebody is waking up around 4 a.m. That's very specific. Somebody could be waking up between 3 to 4 a.m. Yeah, to do work. Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. You have this masculine energy. This person is researching they're researching and they're developing something. They're doing this when everybody else is sleeping. This person is waking up between 3 to 4 a.m. They're praying. They're meditating. They're fasting. It's something this person is doing and they may not be sharing it. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person is putting in some serious work. They're learning about something. The Eight of Pentacles. This person is trying to learn something about business. Um, they could be, they're studying something. They could be, um, I don't know. It's something about them. They're learning something for sure. This could be somebody right now. Somebody, I don't know. This is weird. This person, somebody could be hiding the fact that they, they have a, like, they've started a second job. They could be working this job very early in the morning or late at night. Somebody is trying to prove that they have more to offer. But I feel like they're doing something, even with the Seven of Swords, in somewhat of a secretive way to make sure that they don't lose an, an opportunity to make an offer. You may have told this person that you wake up early, that you pray or meditate at a certain time or something like that. You may be surprised to find out that this person, they have started to implement some type of practice that they've seen you doing. They've seen you do something early in the morning or late at night. 
and they they realize that it's bringing you some type of clarity it's helping you with manifestation or something like that they now are doing it they're not telling you that they're doing it though but they are <laughs> because this person is trying to connect more deeply with you they're trying to figure out how can they eliminate some of this stress fear and anxiety that they have it feels strongly like somebody has has advised a person to pray and meditate more and they're doing it this person is waking up they're praying they're meditating they're doing some kind of devotional or something and i feel like what they are experiencing i'm sorry i just had a really weird noise some type of um visualization is they're seeing themselves married they're seeing themselves in a serious commitment they're they're it's visualization or something that this person is doing they're seeing themselves in a home they're seeing themselves as a leader they're seeing you know themselves married they're seeing themselves have children or blending their family they're seeing all of this this is pretty cool because the very first card that came out was the high priestess Here's the Ace of Cups and the Magician. I told you. And here's the Ten of Pentacles. There you have it. Somebody is manifesting their ultimate wish fulfillment. Hundred percent. Somebody is manifesting. I mean, real security, stability, wealth. This person is discovering something now about magic or manifestation. And this has been sparked due to the Ace of Cups here. This is coming about due to the relationship that someone possibly has with you. So it's interesting because the reading that I did several hours ago, <laughs> this masculine energy, this really could be somebody's life partner, like twin flame. This person was coming off as so rigid, so secretive and shy. And it almost seems like, are they going to be able to get it together? This reading now is showing that I feel like this person, they're, they're definitely working hard behind the scenes to get us together. And the other reading, the karmic soulmate really took over and it was kind of hard to see this person. I could see this person having restrictions and there being confusion around this person. This reading is showing that despite the confusion, the conflict and the chaos, this person is putting in a lot of work and that's the same energy that I got earlier. So if you resonate with that situation of you making a choice, especially between two different people, if you're looking for the person that is going to bring you the balance, the stability, the security, the happiness, you know, the happy home, it may take some time, but that person is here. And this is somebody, again, eight of pentacles, this person, they're, they're doing the prayer, the meditations, the fasting, whatever they need to do for them to manifest a new life. They, maybe they're waking up, like I said, going to a different job or they're researching. Their stuff. This person is in growth and development mode right now. Yep. Four of cups. This person is turning down anything right now that doesn't serve them. They're walking away from anything and everything that does not serve them because all they're thinking about right now is manifesting this Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Nine of Wands. You're being advised not to give up. To prepare yourself for whatever type of offer is coming in. It may be very easy right now to focus on the negative. To see what's not going right or what you don't have. But Spirit is saying the Five of Cups here. Like although something may not be how you want it. All is not lost here. Try not to focus on the negative here. Because if you focus too much on the negative. It's going to manifest in your life that way. The five of cups is looking for the silver lining here. Something has been confusing anyway. 
For some of you, you have a, a karmic person, friend, family member, or lover that's still in your energy. You need to cut this out because it's causing some kind of emotion, emotional pain to constantly resurface that may put you in an energy of putting your guard up to somebody that genuinely cares about you. So just be careful of that. The five of wands is here. Yep, conflict and competition. Here's the king of wands, the justice card, and the queen of wands with the strength card. And then release and the king of swords. Yeah. King of wands, justice, and the queen of wands. This will be a pair. You have a very strong connection here. And then you have release and then the king of swords. So the, either this king of wands or this king of swords, there's somebody here that you have to release. You have to allow some kind of ending here to allow a partnership to come in. That's going to be the ace of pentacles with this king of pentacles person who is your wish fulfillment. This person is a hermit though, like I said. And they're going through some type of judgment. This person is going through a dark night of the soul. They're looking over their past. They're making changes. They're getting clarity about their purpose in life. So right now, this person could be choosing to spend more time alone so that they can actually heal and they can become the king of pentacles. Because remember, this person right now, they're the dreamer. They're the fool. And you're the queen of pentacles. So this is this person wants to match your energy. But that means that right now, dark night of the soul, they're a little bit held up. Because they they right now, they're thinking about their unwise choices in the past. And this may not have anything to do with you. Some of you, you may not even know this person yet. But somebody is learning that there's a better way to do certain things. Again, they're new to some, something about their journey. They're new to this. This could be their first time being madly in love. This could be their first serious relationship. Maybe this is their first marriage. Someone's first time having kids. Their first time starting a business. Something here is a first for somebody. So no, they don't know everything about it, but they're doing the work to try to find out. And in learning how to do something new, it's natural to assess and evaluate what you've done wrong before. You you already seven of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Wow. On this card, you have a, a woman on this card on the nine of cups, you have a man. I feel like right now there's a feminine out here. You're looking for love, but you already have security and stability. You have a man out here that's working on their security and stability, but they have a, a open heart. They're looking for love. So you and this person, you're actually looking for each other. You both have planted seeds to manifest this type of connection. And that's why the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is here. Both of you are coming up as the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. The only thing you're missing is each other. So the Ten of Wands, there's a pathway being clear. Burdens are being dropped. Yeah, so that you and this person, this soulmate, you can come together. Could be somebody from your past. It doesn't have to. Have to be. This person also with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups here, somebody could be dropping a lot of inner child issues that they have. Childhood trauma. They could be tying up loose ends from the past. reflecting on things from their past for sure and realizing that now the seven wands they really need to stand up for themselves for their beliefs and protect what it is that they love and as the, once they do that they're coming in as the knight of cups they're coming in with a very romantic offer they're gonna sweep you off your feet they want you to know like they love you they're coming in to let you know that the path has been cleared and they're ready they want to rush off into the sun. Six of Pentacles, they want this to be a generous offer. 
because it's time the wheel this is your good karma it's their good karma it's a brand new start to something here this person is putting in a lot of work in the background knight of pentacles two of pentacles five of pentacles this person is really trying to learn they're brainstorming a lot They're trying to find a, an opportunity, a business opportunity, job or something. But they see you as somebody, four pentacles, queen of cups, ace of swords. They see that you're truthful, you're honest, you're compassionate, you're, 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 you're caring, you know. The four of pentacles here you see things in black and white but again going back to the queen of pentacles you're grounded you're stable this person knows that you're dependable they know that you're you're level-headed and you're honest this person they don't want to lie to you either they want to be honest with you because they can really appreciate you for being the queen of cups for showing them some type of love or respect they trust you they also know that you're not only grounded, but you're also very intuitive. Page of Wands. So they're excited. They're excited right now to get to work, to figure out what they need to do to actually be in your life. But this person, they do five of pentacles. They have a lot of self self doubt right now because they're juggling so much. This again, it's just new to them. They're trying to figure it out. It's like God has told this person, hey, here's the love of your life. Your your life starts now. And they're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> because they, they, they have to do everything. They have to reprogram their, their mind. They have to possibly change. They have to move. They may be working on their appearance, working on their finances. This person is working on everything in their life. But in the back of their mind, they're doing this for themselves, but also for a particular person. And again, you have the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. You and this person are both planting seeds right now to have a beautiful harvest and you're manifesting someone else. You and this person just so happen to be manifesting each other. You're becoming a vibrational match for one another. It's, it's just like things are being um, refined. You and this person have, have already matched, but... You know, there is some more healing or financial situations or family situations that need to be resolved. And then this is going to be a really, really good connection. So you guys right now, you're in the the planning and, and um, preparation phase. You have waves of prosperity coming. You may be exploring your options or while you were exploring your options. You may um, you may have met this person. Some of you in exploring your options, though, you're going to meet people who are also going to help you with business. This also could be this other person, too. For some of you, they may be exploring their options, especially when it comes to finances. I don't get anywhere here where this person is focused on like another like person. There is not a third. The, the third party here is this person's fear. Of, of failing and missing an opportunity and they could be making changes like i said within their family their health or their finances as any adult is always doing but this is not like a shady energy this is something brand new yeah rest it's like you've been working really hard spirit is saying it's okay yeah you need to rest Take time out to, to be still, to relax. Maybe this person has been working really hard. They may need some time to rest. I see on these two cards, so this looks like it could be a boy. It doesn't have to be. I do see purple here. <laughs> but on both of these cards, you know, um, two people are resting here. So for some of you, if this is um, like a... Twin flame or soulmate, your life partner, you and this person may need, may need to take some time to rest um, in your own personal solitude. You may need some time away from each other 
to actually rest, retreat, and think. Or maybe you guys need to go and do something together that's fun or will allow you to just be at peace. Somebody here is a little stressed. But Spirit is reminding you, you're more powerful than what you know. Some of you need to know too that if this is about you or your person, you have the power to change and to heal this situation somehow. Somebody needs to work on affirming themselves or their partner. Somebody needs to feel worthy. And that's something that you have to know about yourself. But if you're dealing with a person that's dealing with any kind of insecurities, or even if this is you, some words of affirmation or encouragement may help because somebody needs to be empowered. They're struggling with doing it for themselves because they're trying to handle so many things at once. Again, this could be you and or your person. Contemplation time. So it's a lot of cards here about you spending time alone, trying to figure out what you truly desire. If this isn't you, this is this other person. They may be needing more time to themselves. Like I said, for somebody here, they could even be working in the morning or at night. Somebody is taking time. Maybe they're not talking to you as much or coming around you as much. That may raise a bit of suspicion, but I feel like this is the spirit is saying stay stay optimistic. This person is currently trying to spend time alone to figure out what they need to do and how they're gonna do it. They're coming up with some kind of master plan. It says you, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected. Yes, it's time for you to try different experiences as a way to grow and learn. You need to, you know, come out of feeling stuck or indecisive or that's what's about to end. It says simplify your life. This is a good time to declutter your home, work on work-life balance, and there is a helpful person that's coming in. And I'm getting for some of you too, it's okay for you to make the first move or initiate contact with a person. It's like somebody here may just want to know that you're actually interested. I get this feeling like somebody is stressed out or they may be a little down on their luck. They just want to know that, that you're interested. Because they're dreaming big about you or a situation but, I mean, they are a little afraid. You have friendship here. This could be somebody that's your friend. Make a decision and accept heaven's help. So somebody is praying for help. Make a decision. Somebody is stuck. And they're trying to wait on their intuition to tell them what they should do. There's a blessed change that's coming. Yeah. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So something really, there's a huge opportunity that's coming in, but I, I feel like somebody is afraid to speak up about something or make some kind of move. Um, it's two people coming together that both have their own set of skills, tools, resources, and beliefs. They they would blend together quite well, but it just feels like two people here need to agree to work together as partners. This feels like two very independent people who have still not let their guard down to allow another person to help them. I'm just going to pull a few of these little love oracles. But there's very heavy manifestation help happening. <laughs> heavy contemplation. Somebody is quiet right now. There we have it. Okay. Obsessed. Spying. 
<laughs> it's the social media and infatuation. So you have somebody that could be watching you. Okay. Wow. You have false to inflame here and self-worth. Somebody is struggling with their self-worth. It says this is not a divine connection. A false twin flame. Wait a minute. You have fertility and blessings here. Possible pregnancy. Whoa, this car went across the floor. Wait a minute. So some of you, as I mentioned before, like I picked up in the other reading, you have um, somebody that is it's not a divine connection that's obsessed with you and spying on you. But you have another person that's going through, I feel, a dark night of the soul that wants to come in and show you some kind of affection. Now, this could be the same person, okay? Um, for some of you, this is one person that's changing or trying to change that wants to come in but you want to make sure this person isn't coming in because you have some kind of blessings coming for, for yourself. I'm, I'm reading this as two different people. You have a person that um, really wants to come in now. Yeah, so you look. Deception and conflict. You need to have boundaries in a situation because this false twin flame, they are ruled by ego. They are missing you, though, because they realize that this is a divine connection. But you have a soulmate or your actual twin flame for some of you that's coming in now. This person wants to have new experiences with you. They want to travel. They want to go places. And it is safe for you to love this person. And this will most likely lead to some kind of proposal. Okay. Yeah, there you have it. Earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus doesn't have to be, but this is your actual counterpart. Somebody wants to come forward and have a heart to heart conversation. This is coming very soon, but the situation has been quite complicated and confusing. But there is a new beginning here with a lot of good karma, divine feminine. But it don't don't be afraid right now for you to have some time alone to get in solitude. And figure out what type of commitment you want. Because within the next few weeks, you're most likely going to receive a commitment. But depending on what you're opening yourself up to as a vibrational match, it could be this divine connection or it could be this false twin flame. It really just depends on what you're communicating to to the divine, to the universe that, that you're willing to accept. You have a false twin flame that is still ruled by ego, that is still trying to manifest you back into their life, but they're wearing a mask. They're deceptive and they're watching you. They're stalking you on social media. This was a situation where there was a lot of conflict and you had no choice but to put up boundaries with this person. Yeah, because it brought you a bunch of pain. So even though you and this person separated, they're still watching you and stalking you with this person. It's all about money. Green eyed monster. And then now you have most likely a past life connection. Somebody has been missing you since you separated in the last lifetime. They are working on their self-worth right now because they see you as the person that they're going to have these blessings with. They see you as a person that they want to offer a commitment, which will most likely lead to a marriage. They want to travel with you. Um, this person comes in with affection and love and just all these good, 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 great things, right? It's safe for you to love. This person wants to come in and communicate. So, I mean, again, for some of you, of course, it could be the past person that you're meant to be with. You know, it, we're not going to bash past people because they do change. For some of you, it's a new person, but they it's a past life connection. So it'll probably feel like you've known them before. I feel like some of you right now, though, it's good for you to rest and retreat. Get in solitude. 
because there there's there's more than one person planning to communicate with you and make you an offer but remember somebody is wearing a mask and it feels like both people are wearing a mask because one person is hiding a life or a lifestyle oh at the bottom of the deck is marriage and then one person oh family children building a home thinking about old times i love you happiness enjoyment kindness i am sorry some of you definitely have somebody from your past that is deeply regretful and sorry but this person could literally have a family and a home with someone else yeah well they share a life with a third party but they're constantly thinking about you but this person i feel like as quickly as they think about you they remember that they're in a commitment and they start back thinking about their money that's that has been the the stronghold but you also have a person that is very much focused on money security and stability so right now you may feel like all both of these people are being deceptive it's like these people are scrambling right now to get their life together for for divine feminine so you don't know everything that's happening that's why you're being advised as the high priestess here to go within and just to continue focusing on your own spiritual transformation. 